All right, what we're going to do is we're going to solve a problem involving a little bit of geometry and a little bit of algebra. So we're going to combine our knowledge of both of those disciplines to solve a word problem. Now this problem reads that two cans that hold vegetables are shown. If each can holds the same amount of vegetables, what is the height of can A? So what we're trying to do is determine how tall is this can right here or can A? Well, the problem says that each can holds the same amount of vegetables. Now in math, when you think about something that holds something, we are talking about volume. And because we're dealing with cans, we're dealing with cylinders. So right away we should be thinking about the volume of cylinders. And because they hold the same amount of vegetables, we could say that the volume of each of those cans are equal to each other. So the first thing that I'm going to do is write out the formula to find the volume of any cylinder, which is pi multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by the height of the cylinder. Now we're going to go ahead and let this formula right here represent the volume of can A. And we know that the volume of can A is equal to the volume of can B. So we're going to go ahead on the other side of our equal sign and write the equation for the volume of a cylinder again. So this represents the volume of can B and this represents the volume of can A. And those volumes are equivalent to each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and substitute all of the variables for all known values. So looking at can A, it says that the radius is one unit. So we're going to go ahead and substitute the radius with the number one. And of course we have to square that. And we are trying to find the height of can A, and that's not given, so we have to leave the variable H for can A as a variable. And for can B, we're going to leave pi is pi, and the radius of can B is two units, so we're going to square two and multiply it by the height of can B, which is one unit. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify what we have so far. Now on the left-hand side of the equation, the only thing that we can simplify is one to the second power, which is one. So on this side of our equal sign, all we have remaining is pi times h. If you ever have one as a coefficient, remember you do not have to write out the number one. And on the right hand side of our equation, we have two to the second power, which is four, and four times one is four. And I like to write my coefficient in front of pi, so we have four times pi. Okay, now remember what we're looking for is the height of can A. And this variable right here, H, represents the height of can A. And whatever it is you're trying to determine in your algebraic equation is what you are trying to isolate. So we have to get rid of everything else on this side of the equation except for the letter H. In this case, we have to get rid of our pi value here. Now because H and pi are being multiplied, we do the opposite, which is to divide by pi. Now, by dividing pi by itself, that turns it into 1 which leaves us with 1h on the left-hand side of our equation. And we have to balance our equation by dividing the other side by pi as well. And notice that these also cancel out on the right-hand side, leaving us only with the number 4. So we have determined that the height of can A is equal to 4 units.